The perfect shot for me, it comes out of nowhere. I want to see something that I haven't seen before. That tree hasn't been photographed this way before, or an angle of this landscape that gives you a different view of it. I am Kevin Love. I like to say I'm a basketball player, advocate, philanthropist. You know, my ambitions as a photographer are just to keep getting better every single day. I mean, it's like basketball, right? I use this quote a little bit as a, as a life hack, is to be relentlessly curious without fear or prejudice. I think that it'll be interesting to go to a place that he's been already and to show him what I want to put in a frame so people can feel the scene. I can then definitely point Kevin in directions he probably hasn't thought of before. Being in Portland, Oregon was a no-brainer for me. Being outside and being in the elements, the trees have your back here. I've been coming to Portland since 2016. It's a beautiful town. Within three miles of downtown, you're in the woods. Portland just has so much culture, so much of the arts, theater, music. I mean, there's beauty surrounding us really at all times. So you have everything basically at your disposal here. Do you get to photograph during the season or do you usually wait? So actually, it's, it's funny you ask that because my, my therapist, <laughs> of all people, was like, how are you going to stay creative during the season? And I was like, I guess I got to bring my cameras. You're coming to play in Portland against the Blazers. So like Douglas firs and pine trees. And yeah. like, that is such a big part of, oh, of who sense. we are. Uh -huh. You would say, all right, wood. But that can mean you that know, can a mean table. That can mean yeah, like can mean anything. anything. I mean, it's a, it's a good prompt. Yeah, I think the process of taking photographs and, and photography for me is definitely grounding, something I do in a lot of ways for, for therapy and also a way to document things and understand what I was going through through that time. Photography as meditation is pretty much why I do it. I try to focus on what's in front of me, zone out and see something I've never seen before because I won't see it again. So I have to make these photographs while I'm here. You know, for me, I've, I've dealt with acute anxiety my entire life and have tried to find ways to you know, express myself or, or change my relationship with my, my mental health in a major way. Being outside is a calming place for me. You know, take in whatever I can around me and understand there's a lot of beauty and just feel it. The land is always kind of extraordinary, which makes it hard to make photographs because everyone can capture what they consider an extraordinary moment. But when I'm here, I'm not thinking about any of that stuff. I'm just here to kind of be free make the pictures, go back later, see what I got, and then hopefully I got one good thing. It's only getting better for creatives because we have so much access to so many programs and ways of thinking on the computer end. I've been using Adele XPS for at least the last seven years. I think that there's a need for as much art in the world as humanly possible, and I think that that's, that's why everybody should be out there making something creative. The creativity has broadened in the last few years, so whatever your thing is, just get into it.